To evaluate an expression like this, we're going to use our order of operations. So we're going to start with parentheses and other uh, grouping symbols. See if there's any exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So first, I see that I have the, the bracket grouping symbol. But inside that, I have yet another grouping symbol of the parentheses. In that innermost grouping, I have 7 plus 2, which is equal to 9. And then that's still going to be minus 4. It's tempting to actually go ahead and subtract the 5 minus 3. But you'll notice that I need to finish what's in the parentheses and my multiplication first. So next, I'm going to do, still in grouping symbols, I'm going to do 9 minus 4, which gives me 5. So this really becomes 5 minus 3 times 5. Multiplication comes before subtraction, so this is 5 minus 3 times 5 is 15. So it's equal to 5 minus 15, which of course is going to be negative 10. So when I evaluate or simplify my original expression, I get negative 10. And I did that by first doing parentheses and other grouping symbols. Didn't have any exponents. Um, then I do multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. That was relevant when I got down to this step. And these next to each other was an implicit multiplication. Hence, I got the 15 before I did the subtraction. Hope that helps. Thank you.